Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today's video is brought to you by Cat File Explorer, the easiest way to see, manage and clean up AutoCAD files in Revit. Get your free copy today by following the link in this video description. It's a quick lesson today. I will show you how to place normal doors into curtain walls. As you know already, you need to have curtain wall doors to create something like this in a curtain wall. But what if you only have basic door or normal door and you want to use that in a curtain wall anyway without having to spend a lot of time recreating the door as the curtain wall door family? Well, if you're trying to do that, then today's trick is for you. I have here what looks like a curtain wall door, but it's not. As you can see here under properties, it is just a single door, just like the sliding door there or the double door. If I zoom out a little, and maybe create similar from this door. You can see because it's a normal door, I can place it here in a basic wall just fine. Or maybe even there. But somehow I have managed to put it here in the curtain wall. So if I now isolate this wall now. You can see there's an opening there and the door fits into the opening perfectly. Even better if I move this curtain wall slightly, maybe this way. You can see there, that door also follows the wall, just like a normal curtain wall door will do. So, let's see how we can make this happen. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now, because we do tutorials like this every single week. Alright, firstly, let me edit this door family. So you can see, nothing special in here, just a normal door. I can even turn on the wall itself, so you can be sure this is nothing like a curtain wall door. It's just a normal one. And to prove it even further, if I go to categories now, it's not a curtain panel based door, just a basic one. So let me close this project down. So we can start from the same stage and let's open the example project. Here we go, go to 3D now. And right now I will just select this wall here and then isolate it in the view. Firstly, to make the cutting wall door appear in here, we need to make an opening suitable for it. At the moment now, if I select this curtain panel, you can see there is quite wide and the height is also bigger than a normal door's height. So let's change that now. I can select this grid line there, unlock it. And because I want a single door in here, Let's change this value to 900 mil. Next step, go to architecture and put in here a new curtain grid. Something right there. About 2 meters and 60 mil. Here we go. Now, here's a trick. To add a normal door to a curtain wall, you need to firstly select the panel where the door should be like this, unpin it, and then change it to a basic wall. For example, I can go for this timber clad wall there. And now it has turned from a glazed panel to just a basic wall. Next step, you need to make sure the wall is a bit thinner than what this one is right now, because we want it to mimic the glass panels around it. So for that purpose, I will go to here, duplicate this wall now to make a new type. Let's call this one just wall number two for now. And under edit, we don't need this many layers. So I'll just delete everything here and leave only one layer behind, which is a structural layer. And we can change this thickness to maybe 50. Okay, again. And now it's there. If I go to hidden lines mode now, you can see the panel or the wall is now fitting nicely into the opening we have for our door. So the next logical step is just put the door in here. Let's go to architecture, door, and let's select this single door here. I can just put it right there. And it's a bit hard to see here, but if I go to shaded mode, you can see the door has been added to this wall. It's hosted on the wall right now. Anyway, this door, because it's built for a normal wall, it has some extra details that we don't need. 
for example, the trims and the frames outside. You can remove it to make it more suitable for this purpose. So let's go to Edit Family. Now this door I actually have modified. So I remove the architraves, I remove the frames outside the door, and I added the handle here, just as the normal door adjustment operation that we normally do. If you want to know how to do this, just go to this video description and now we will include there a few links to other door family editing tutorials that we have in the past. For now, let's say I have done editing this door like this and I'm happy with the result. Let's load this back into the project and overwrite the version in here. Here we are. The door is now simpler and more suitable for a curtain wall. There are a few things we need to sort out, by the way. Let's go to level one view and go to where the door is right now, which is here. You can see there, it's looking fine, even though the handles are showing in plan view and I don't want that. So let's go back to the family now. Select the two handles. Go to visibility settings and uncheck plan RCP. Load this back to the project now. And if you go now to the plan view, it's clean. Anyway, I really want to check out the elevation instead. So let me just go to this south elevation. And check out our door here. As you can see, if I now select this door, it is going from the bottom of the wall to beyond this mullion. This is not correct for a curtain wall door, so we need to offset it up by the same height as the height of this mullion. Let me just quickly dimension this to find out what that dimension should be. It's 40. So let's now select the door. Under seal height, I can change this now to 40. That will make it sitting on top of this mullion, just like what we have for cutting wall doors. Next step, it's a bit too high. So let me just measure the dimension from here to there. So the height of the door should be 2 meters. We can go to edit type now, duplicate this, and call this one 800 by 2000 curtain wall. Like that. Now you know what to do next. Just change this now to 2000 and do OK. Now it's there. I can also move it so the edge of the door will align with this mullion there. And here we can see it's not wide enough. So let's just do this. A60, that's the width that it should take. So I can go again to edit type and change the width here to the same value. Do OK. And also move it again to align with the mullions outside. And there you have it. If I go to level 1 now, you can see it looks just like a curtain wall door because here it's fitting in nicely with the system and in elevation it has all you need for a curtain wall door, even the annotation for the opening edge. And if I go to 3D, reset the view, it's there just like I want it. Of course, this is not the recommended way to do curtain wall doors. But if you are really short on time, this may help you save a deadline from being missed. When you have a bit more time though, make sure to create a proper curtain wall door and then replace this door here with the proper curtain wall door version. Alright, if you enjoy this lesson and want more like this coming every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel now. For now, have a good day and I'll see you in the next lesson.